Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome to another Out the Salad production. So today I'm going to do a product review of the Jetboil Zip gas-powered stove. Let's get into it. So I bought this stove back in April 2019 from Cotswold Outdoor in Bristol, and it cost me about sixty pounds. Uh, but due to inflation and supply chain issues, uh, generally. These are now retailing for around £75 pounds in 2023. I bought this originally to do some pretty long distance bike touring. So in the summer of 2019, I did um, a self-supported uh, Lands and John O'Groats bike tour, which was around 2000 kilometers. And basically I wanted to have hot food. That was why I wanted it. I, I did previous bike touring in uh, France and Western Europe a couple of years before and uh, I really missed having a, a hot meal at the end of the day uh, in my tent. So that was the reason for the purchase and I'd recommend this if you wanna do something similar. If you're not a massive foodie, then then just live off croissants and, and cold food. I've also gone camping with this a lot. So basically this is just really good for boiling water super quickly. So it, it, it does what it says on the tin. You can get about two cups of water. So, you know, like two, three cups of tea, uh, done in about three minutes it's like super super quick it's almost like it's almost like having a kettle okay so i'll just show you what this looks like when it's all deconstructed let's go okay so i've just gone outside to operate the jet ball because that's what it says in the instruction manual so i'll just take this apart for you now so uh, it comes with a rubber lid which is good to um keep stuff warm um after you've finished with it um, and it all comes in a very, very handy layout. So it all fits inside the, the, the main part. Uh, this is the gas bit. This is the tripod. It's like a plastic orange thing and it's uh, quite fluorescent. So you're not going to miss it if you uh, are camping and you are uh, packing up. It doesn't come with gas, but you can, you basically buy these canisters. These like these um, jet bulb, jet power gas canisters, and you get these in most outdoor shops, like they'll be able to tell you what to get. And then this is the main thing. As you can see, it's pretty manky on the inside because it's been used quite a bit. Uh, and it comes with a pretty nice um, sort of insulating layer, which means that, uh, you know, if you wanna like eat out of it or hold it, you're not gonna burn yourself. Oslo has found the jet boil. Oh dear. Just say hello to the camera. So this, this sort of is at the bottom uh, and it can double as a cup. So you can have your tea in here. Uh, you can see there are measurement things on the inside. So you can measure out water with it, which is useful. And you can also fit in a lighter as well. So, sick. Okay, let's put this all together. I'm just gonna assemble the, the jet boil. So uh, yeah, basically get the orange tripod, excuse me, put it on the ground, it's nice and stable. Even when it's, un even when it's uneven ground, it still uh, uh, places itself well into the turf. Gas canister, slots into these grooves here. Should work. There you go. So there's a nice clicking motion when it's in, and then simply get the this part and twist it on like that. Make sure it's on nice and tight. Cool. And then you take the main part of the jet boil, and you essentially slot it in to um, these little grooves here. So there's two grooves, and if you basically put this on there and then twist and it's on. I can put it together pretty simply, so um, it's really not that complicated. So turn on the, the stove, basically get this knob here, twizzle it, here it'll come out and it's going. So you can, you can hear the gas, it's very, very hot. Um, what I'd say is that it's not particularly good for having it on a low heat. So if you wanna like simmer some beans, for instance, it's not gonna happen. You gotta like stir like crazy. But, uh, but that's easy, and then just turn it off. 
just twizzle it again. So it's dead, dead straightforward. So I'll just finish off the vid by just going through some pros and cons that, I, that I've written down after sort of four years of usage. As I said before early in the video, it is a very compact piece of kit. So everything can be contained uh, within itself, not much more than sort of 12 to 15 centimeters long. Um, so it's very easy to just fit in a rucksack uh, or in, in your bike panniers when, you, when you're going touring. I, I managed to fit it easily in a, in a bar bag with, with lots of other things. So that's really good. Um, secondly, it's a very powerful flame. So, uh, you know, it's called Jet Ball for a reason. Uh, you can you can boil a, a couple of cups of water in, in, in two to three minutes, which is, is very good. In terms of negatives of the jet boil, it's difficult to um, have a weak flame. So when I found that it, if I wanted to turn the heat down, it just ended up uh, going out. So you need to have it on sort of on, on a strong heat, which means that if you aren't using boil in the bags, uh, you're going to have to stir and make sure stuff doesn't stick to the bottom, which links into my final point in that stuff does stick to the bottom if you're not careful like me and it's really hard to, to to get off so i think for most people using these um boiling the bags are the go-to because obviously everything's contained in the bag itself and it's, it's not gonna uh, you're not gonna get stickage on the bottom all in all it's a it's a cracking product recommend it and um yeah get, get out there and do do some cool adventures with your with your jet boil cool see you soon bye